Hey budget fam, it's Jordan from Jordan Budget. Today we are doing something we have not done before and that is we are unstuffing all of these binders. So if you are new here, I do cash stuffing, I do savings challenges, we do a bit of budgeting. It's all about cash budgeting on this channel and how to make your money work for you instead of just sliding a card and not knowing where that money is going, right? So that's, that's sort of what we do here if you are new. But if you have been here, you know that I do not ever unstuff these binders. I hardly ever even take money from my envelopes. I really like to save. So I have a little bit of a confession. Before I got on YouTube, I would unstuff my binders and I only had a couple binders back then. Things have grown, obviously. I Every month or so, I would unstuff everything and I would sort of reprioritize and see where I'm, I wanted money to you know, like what was coming up next. I would just sort of shuffle my money around, see how much I had in total, so I even knew what I was working with. And since I've been on YouTube, I have not done that. I have not shuffled my money around. I have I have no idea what's really in these binders. And a lot has changed. Basically, I have stopped receiving child support. I quit my job before child support ended. I don't know. Basically, hot mess happened. I am now making Etsy and YouTube my full-time living and income. It has been amazing. I'm loving it. I'm so blown away and thankful to be on this platform and especially for things to have grown so quickly. That is all thanks to you guys. Anyway, y'all know I will rant forever if you give me the chance. <laughs> but long story short is a lot has changed. I recently did a budget update, but I feel like a bit more updating needed to happen. The, the overall gist is we're going to unpull the money, count it, and we are going to recreate categories that we need that are new, maybe let go of some of the categories that aren't as big of a priority at this point, and so on. So I don't know, this is my first time doing this. So kind of we will see what happens, but I think that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> I will say the only thing I did do in preparation for this video is I went through a lot of my expenses that I know are like that need to happen and I kind of put percentages on how much I think is going to go towards bills and business and all of the things. Uh, the categories that I have here and the different binders that I have here are bills, business, savings challenges, variable spending, and sinking funds. So those are my five categories. I basically have a binder for each of them. So anyway, let's unstuff this money. I'm not going to count what's in each envelope as we pull it. You want to see how much was in all of these binders, you can go to one of my last videos. And so you can see me pulling the bills binder now. Let me go ahead and tell you what I'm thinking. I know that my bills are roughly 44% of my expected, what I expect to make on my income or what I'm hoping to make on my income. And that is a lot. I know if you're a percentage person, what is it supposed to be? Like maybe 20% or 30% is supposed to go to bills. My bills are 44%. That's not even counting business expenses. So you girl is not that smart, you know. <laughs> do I even have any money in these? Yeah, I do. This is my everyday spending. I was thinking that I would put all of my YouTube money that's coming later. Is it this week or next week? I don't know. It comes at the end of the month sometime. And I know how much that amount is going to be. So I was thinking I would just put all that money towards bills. But it makes me uncomfortable how little I've been putting in. Let me tell you what I'm thinking now. Let's say for this week I made $1,000. I take that $1,000 that I made for this week and then I would divide it by the percentages. So bills, I would need to put 44% of that $1,000 into bills. Challenges and sinking funds would get 12%. Variable expenses would get about 20%. That's just some numbers that I kind of work through that I think would work for me. Um, and so say I have that thousand dollars, I would divide it out by percentages and that is what the binders are getting for that week. And then when income from YouTube comes around, if my bills still are majorly lacking, then bills would get first priority. They would get fully stuffed so that I can pay everything on the first and then everything else gets divvied up by percentages again. Does that make sense? That's kind of how I'm going about things. I think at this point, these are just empty in case I need them as I rearrange. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. What do you guys think? I, I think it's going to be what makes the most sense for where I'm at right now. Um, and I don't know. I just kind of feel like it will, if I'm, if I'm dividing by percentages, then my grocery budget, for example, my grocery budget will have to decrease for that week if I didn't make as much as I thought. 
it would just sort of put a little bit more pressure on me with my budget because where I'm at right now is kind of floating through. I don't know. I don't know if any of this is making sense. This is to visit Nashville. That trip is happening this weekend, so I'm not unstuffing anything from this. I'm just going to move this to the side for now, but we're going to come back to this. Car maintenance. I already pulled some of the money for car maintenance, but I need to do an, one more checkup before the trip, um, but that category is going to stay. Haircut has no money. Business, I do need... Okay, I guess we will talk about the categories after we pull them. I'm kind of not sure what I'm doing with this, guys. <laughs> Can you tell? I think we'll start with just pulling everything. So how are you guys doing this week? I hope your week is going amazing. And, or your weekend, I guess. Guys, I don't even know what day it is. I, it's Monday. <laughs> I hope your weekend went amazing and I hope your Monday is off to a great start. I did not get back with any of you guys that have messaged me on Etsy or email or any of the places. I'm so sorry. I did, I kind of took off this weekend and that it's the first real weekend that I really just took off the whole weekend since I started Etsy. And I guess when, when I started YouTube almost four months ago, I still had my weekends, but then I started Etsy a month after I started YouTube. And that's when I started kind of working a lot on the weekends too. I would stay up really late. I basically just took off this weekend. I didn't do anything. I didn't check any of my accounts. I just kind of focused on my boys and planning my trip and I just kind of needed that reboot even though I hate to even say it like that because then it sounds like I don't want to be doing all of the things but if you are on Etsy and YouTube you know it can kind of be like a constant job like it's something you're always doing and thinking about and I have fun with it so I don't consider it work but I just kind of needed that break from it being a constant thing you know I wanted to um just focus on my kids and getting ready for that trip and stuff. So that's that's what's up with that. Um, and again, I am unstuffing all of this, but a lot of it's gonna get money right back. I just kinda wanna count in total what we have and, you know, go from there. Um, so this is my business binder. It is my binder that gets the least amount of attention. <laughs> you can see, I'm just gonna try to change that. Okay, so this is the one I don't wanna unstuff the most is my savings challenges. I am gonna give myself all new savings challenge cards. I guess at the same time we can pull all of these ones that were kind of rollover from this. Ah, okay. Okay, we're doing this. We've committed. I don't, see, and that's the thing about this too, like I'm saving this money to use it if I need it or to do whatever I need to with it. But at the same time, it's like you don't wanna pull it, you know, you want it to keep gathering but it's okay, we're gonna pull it. This is our last binder to pull. And this will just, so we can see how much we saved and it'll kind of give us the reboot. I hope that you guys had a really not busy weekend too. I hope you had off of work and got to do something that you wanted. Okay, 50, oh, that was a lot of money. Okay, we're gonna unstuff it, but we're gonna put at least 100 back in there, hopefully more. We'll see how much we have to work with. Christmas, this category is just coming out. I've already bought my kids everything for Christmas. I will kind of update you guys once I know exactly how much I spent. I know I didn't spend 400, but I definitely spent what I had saved for it. I got it all on Amazon, so it went into my like Amazon card, and then I paid it back and pulled that cash. But that category, we are done with that for now. We may start back on it maybe in January or February to start prepping for Christmas 2022, but for now we have so many other focuses. Um, we're just gonna keep baseball in there. We just started that one. We are, okay, we'll just pull Thanksgiving for now. Um, I didn't stuff my variable expenses this week, so I used my card. It was just one of those weeks. Anyway, I used my card and I went to the mall with my kids. And when I went to the mall and got them drinks from the vending machine, the vending machine said that the drinks were $1.50. I looked at my card statement yesterday. We went to the mall the day before and I looked at my card statement yesterday and those drinks were $2.75. They were not $1.50 like the sign said on it. And I was like, okay, looking at my card statement, I was like, this is exactly why I use cash because if I would have realized in person, I would have just pushed the little button and got quarters back out, you know? Like I would not have spent, because for three drinks, what is that? $2.75 times three? I don't know, almost $9. I can't math. It's really kind of, it's really surprising how much I can't math, you know? 
Anyway, self-care, we're not unstuffing that just yet. We're going to count that along with moving in just a minute. Etsy. Oh, I don't want to unstuff Etsy either. Guys. Okay, we're going to go back through. We're going to keep some of these categories. I'm going to add it up, and then we will just kind of consolidate the money. Some of this, I don't really don't want to pull. Anyway, one month ahead, we are going to pull this. My bills have all increased majorly with, you know, just the way that prices are raising. I need about $2,000, so we're using my new one month ahead tracker. We're gonna pull all that and do some shuffling. If you haven't checked out my website to get the freebies yet, go check it out. This is the one month ahead, the $2,000 savings, whereas previously it was for $975. If you check out my website and get the freebies, you don't need to enter your email address or anything. They're just freebies thanking you for being a subscriber and watching my videos. One of the three free principles is this one month ahead and you can choose if you want a thousand dollar tracker, a two thousand dollar tracker, or a blank one that you just fill in yourself. I'm going to need the two thousand dollar one. Actually, I think it's going to go to a different binder though. So let's wait on that. So we have unstuffed the majority of our money. Woohoo! What's, oh that's a lot. Okay, sorry, I turned you guys off for a second and took a thumbnail because YouTuber life, that's what we do. So this is what we pulled from all of our binders. I have no idea if all of this is ones or what. We are about to see what we have going on here, but like that is, is that not crazy? Oh my gosh, I definitely have never saved this much. YouTube, I will say, so YouTube has really been a lot of fun for me and it's given me a lot of accountability. Like I just, I would have spent this. <laughs> I would have spent this if I wasn't on YouTube. It's just, you know, truth. Um, so let's just organize this really quick, see what we have. So my sister has my son. She is going to be my mother's helper. We're trying it out. I don't know if we are all going to love it. I'm also not paying her a ton. I'm kind of getting like, okay, wait, I need to just scoot this over. I am not paying her a ton of money as far as like what I should be paying her for her to help me basically all day on Mondays, um, but it's what I can afford. If I can afford it, I don't I don't know. I don't know what I can afford lately, and that's kind of why I just felt like we needed a reboot here because I don't know what kind of money I have. I don't know what kind of money I'm making. That is just like pure honesty. I don't know. Um, and I'm spending a lot of money to launch. I'm spending money to launch things on in January. Um, and I also spend some money on Etsy stuff, although I will say I've already spent a lot of money on the stuff that's on Etsy as far as like materials to create what I have on Etsy, so I don't foresee myself needing more money soon for Etsy, so that's good. Um, but taxes are coming up, and typically I get a ton of money back for taxes because I have two little boys and a lot of like childcare expenses and things. But I don't, I think I'm definitely going to owe money. It's just how much money am I going to owe now that I'm working for myself? You know, I have no idea. Anyway, I guess we will see. These 100s are play money. If I have a 100 in my binders, then I pull it, put it in a savings account that I created in the bank where I still can't touch it. But then I don't have just straight $100 just chilling in my house. Cause I don't like that. I live in an apartment and I don't trust my neighbors. I don't know. I live in a nice apartment. Like there's, I just, you know, you know, you know, it's just when you're in an apartment, it's like you have uh, like maintenance, they will just kind of do their thing or like random, not, I won't call it inspections cause that's not what they call it, but it's like, they need to see it for the bank for like an assessment or something. And I'm like, well, what is that? <laughs> Anyways. Looks like we have a ton of ones. I honestly have zero idea how much this is going to equal. We will find out together. Oh, you know what I could do? I could use this time. Well, I sort of say I could use this time to do a Q&A to answer some of those Q&As that I never got it to, got to, but I don't know. Maybe. Where did I put those <laughs> We hit 5,000 subscribers over the weekend guys. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. I know I think I've had a video since then Thank you guys already, but I'm just still kind of blown away and excited I have so much going on with Etsy and YouTube and like the planner launch and stuff that I don't 
feel kind of like scattered and t and like taken in different directions. So I I wish I had a little bit more time. I would love to like celebrate and do like a vlog and maybe do like go get myself dinner. I don't know. I really want to start vlogging. I want to take you guys around in my everyday life. It's just been a little busy, you know? Like I don't know how people create the extra time to then go around and um, and vlog in addition to what they're already doing. But I'm hoping to start that because I would love to. It's just to take the extra five minutes to like talk to the camera and stuff. I'm like, where, where are people finding these five minutes? <laughs> you know, like where is this time? Okay, this is a ton of ones. We need to do some kind of like, I need to bring that to the bank and trade it out. We'll see. We'll get to all those ones in a second. Let's see what we have without getting to the ones. Ooh, that doesn't even fit. Okay. Let's put the ones here for now. And then we have one $100 slip. Okay, wait, this isn't going to work either. Okay, let's also put up our five because I can't hold this much at once. <laughs> counting ones and not counting fives, let's see how much we have. 50, 150, 250, 350, 450. Let's take out that 50. Two, four, six, eight, 500. Two, four, six, eight, 600. Two, four, six, eight, 700. Two, four, six, eight, 800. Two, four, six, eight, 900. Two, four, six, eight, 1,000. So we have 1,000, yes, okay. Two, four, six, eight, 100. Two, four, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 500. So 1,500, I think, if I'm counting right. 100, okay. Okay, guys, we have created stacks of 100 everywhere because I cannot count like period at all I can't I just can't count okay guys so I have sixteen hundred dollars and then I also have some fives and ones so let's put these stacks am I doing this <laughs> y'all I really should plan my videos because I kind of I'm a little lost I don't know what I'm doing I am used to the videos that I do on a weekly basis like the cash stuffing and things but when I do something for the first time it's like creating a video for the very first time ever. Like, what am I doing in front of this camera? And what am I talking about? Who am I? <laughs> like, I just, I lose all of my information. Okay. So I, I also sincerely, like, I, I struggle to count. Like, even off screen, I, I just can't count. Anyway. Anywho, this video is going to be a lot of me saying anyways, anyways. So let's put this here. We're gonna put this to the side and count the fives and the ones. And then we will know what we're working with. And I have an idea of how we're gonna do the binders, but let's let's finish counting. Woo, if I can grab it. I guess we can go ahead and set this up. Oh, so we have another 100 in the bank. So really we have 17. Let me read that. We have 1,700. Not counting the ones. So let's put this here. So that is what we've counted so far. Let's see what we have here with our fives and our ones. Yeah, I was due for a cash unstuffing anyway, like to consolidate some of these bills. So this is good. I'm gonna get rid of some of these ones and we'll see how to handle that. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Wow, okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So for fives alone, we have... 235 we're up to 1835 so for ones we have one two three four five six seven eight okay guys for ones 
we have okay i have so many of them that i had to like i had to cut away it was too much time for ones we have 127 dollars just in ones so total we have 2062 actually so let's go ahead and see what we have in self-care and moving too because i would like to just go ahead and, and include that total ah my camera stopped focusing i hope it hasn't been out of focus this whole time anywho for self-care for self-care, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 100, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. We have 200 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have 212 in self-care. We're just going to write that number down. And I, because I would like to pull these once and consolidate them. So I'm going to go ahead and include this, but that money is coming back to self-care. Self-care and moving, I like to kind of keep separated just because all of that money is what came to me from tips from you guys. And I do want to put that money towards specific things. And if I just lump it into this, I will not put that money back into self-care. So just to make sure I am using that money how I wanted it to go, like what I want it to go towards, I'm gonna put 212 and that money is coming back. It just, I would like to consolidate it and get some of these ones out while we're already here and doing this unstuffing. And then moving is the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it just to be able to consolidate it, but more than what is in here needs to come back to this moving trip because that is just happening in a few days and I I don't know we will see we will see I'm not making any big changes yet but 50 70 90 110 130 150 170 171 2 3 4 5 6 176 needs to come back to moving at least that amount Okay, so this is what we are working with, guys. I am going to, okay guys, actually we are going to do a part one as like this video that is the unstuffing, and then we're gonna do a part two where I reorganize the binders. This is the unstuffing video. Let's see total what I have in the binders, and then when we come back for a second video for part two, we are going to, we are going to restuff the money into the binders. Okay, so total today, guys, we unstuffed 2000 I don't know if you can see this, $2,450. So all of that is going to be going back into the money binder. We are just going to be doing a little bit of reshuffling and restarting our binders. If you would like to see that video, please go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned. That is it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for being here while I unstuffed this binder. I hope that wasn't too boring. That was not like my typical video. So please stay tuned. I'm recreating all new categories. If you're interested in that, that is going to be my very next video. We're going to put all this money back. We are going to pull all of these ones and sort of like re stuff higher bills because this is a little ridiculous with all the ones. But thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. As always, I appreciate you guys and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.